The top 10 brightest stars in the night sky. 1. Sirius A. Sirius, also called Alpha Canis Majoris or the Dog Star, brightest star in the night sky, with apparent visual magnitude minus 1.46. It is a binary star in the constellation Canis Major. The bright component of the binary is a blue-white star 25.4 times as luminous as the Sun. Its distance from the solar system is 8.6 light-years, only twice the distance of the nearest known star system beyond the Sun, the Alpha Centauri system. Its name comes from a Greek word meaning sparkling or scorching. 2. Canopus Canopus, also called Alpha Carinae, second brightest star, after Sirius, in the night sky, with a visual magnitude of minus 0.73. Lying in the southern constellation Carina, 310 light-years from Earth, Canopus is sometimes used as a guide in the attitude control of spacecraft because of its angular distance from the Sun and the contrast of its brightness among nearby celestial objects. The Syrian Stoic philosopher Poseidonius, 135-50 BC, used sightings of Canopus near the horizon in his estimation of the size of Earth. 3. Rigel Cantorus Rigel Cantorus is the third brightest star in the night sky. However, its brightness is due to the proximity of the system, commonly known as Alpha Centauri, which is the Sun's closest neighbor, about 4.3 light-years away from Earth. Rigel Cantorus is part of a triple star system, and the naked eye star itself is a double star. Its two stars are dwarfs that spin around each other every 80 years at an average distance of 23 Earth-Sun distances, or astronomical units. This puts the stars at about the same equivalent distance apart as the Sun and Uranus in our own solar system, according to University of Illinois astronomer Jim Keller. 4. Arcturus Arcturus is a red giant star located just 37 light-years away. It's the fourth brightest star in the sky. Arcturus is a red giant star in the northern hemisphere of Earth's sky and the brightest star in the constellation Boötes, the herdsman. Astronomers say Arcturus will end up as a white dwarf at the end of its life. The light of Arcturus is so bright that the star was used to help open the Chicago World's Fair in 1933. It is a classic orange class K, K1, giant star with a precisely defined surface temperature of 4290 degrees Kelvin. To the eye, it shines 113 times more brightly than our sun. Its lower temperature, however, causes it to radiate considerable energy in the infrared. The light of Arcturus is so bright that the star was used to help open the Chicago World's Fair in 1933. It is a classic orange class K, K1, giant star with a precisely defined surface temperature of 4290 degrees Kelvin. To the eye, it shines 113 times more brightly than our sun. Its lower temperature, however, causes it to radiate considerable energy in the infrared. When this infrared radiation is taken into account, Arcturus actually shines almost twice as brightly, releasing 215 times more radiation than our sun, from which we find a diameter 26 times solar, about a quarter the size of Mercury's orbit. Arcturus is close and large enough so that its angular diameter of 0.0210 seconds of arc can easily be measured, leading to a very similar direct determination of 25 times the solar dimension and providing nice confirmation of stellar parameters. Arcturus has a velocity relative to the Sun that is higher than other bright stars. 5. Vega Vega is a bright star located just 25 light-years from Earth, visible in the summer sky of the Northern Hemisphere. The star is part of the constellation Lyra and, with the stars Deneb and Altair, forms an asterism known as the Summer Triangle. The star is only about 450 million years old, which makes it a youngster compared to our own solar system, which is 4.6 billion years old. It is also one of the Sun's closer neighbors, at a distance of about 25 light years. Vega's spectral type is A, white, and its luminosity class V, main sequence. It will become the northern pole star by about AD 14,000 because of the precession of the equinoxes. Vega is surrounded by a disk of circumstellar dust that may be similar to the solar system's Kuiper belt. Telescopic observations in 2006 revealed that Vega is whipping around so quickly that its poles are several thousand degrees warmer than its equator. The star, which rotates every 12.5 hours, is at 90% of its critical rotation speed or the velocity at which the object would tear itself apart. 6. Capella 
Capella is one of the brightest stars in the sky and the crown jewel of Auriga, the charioteer. Like many other stars, Capella appears to be a single object but is actually a multi-star system. The primary members are two yellow giant stars, designated Capella AA and AB. The two stars' mutual orbit is angled 137 degrees relative to the plane of the solar system, so we get an almost face-on view. Because we see the system at such a large angle, the two capellas don't eclipse each other from our perspective. The two stars are so close, they can't be split visually with ordinary equipment and are only just resolvable with the Cambridge Optical Aperture Synthesis Telescope. Capella is sometimes called the goat star. In fact, the star name Capella is the Latin word for nanny goat. Near Capella, you'll find a tiny asterism, a noticeable pattern on the sky's dome, consisting of three fainter stars. This little triangle of stars is called the kids, baby goats. 7. Rigel. Rigel is a blue supergiant that is the brightest star in the constellation Orion, the hunter. Due to its measured size and brightness it is expected to end in a supernova one day. It also has two known companions, Rigel B and Rigel C. The star is about 870 light years from the sun and 47,000 times as luminous, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. Rigel is much hotter and more massive than our sun. It's in the latter stages of its stellar life. And hidden in its brilliance are fainter companion stars that can only be seen using large telescopes. Rigel is about 870 light years from the sun and is about 47,000 times as luminous. A companion double star, also bluish white, is of the sixth magnitude. Rigel is calculated to be anywhere from 61,500 to 363,000 times as luminous as the sun, and 18 to 24 times as massive, depending on the method and assumptions used. Its radius is more than 70 times that of the sun, and its surface temperature is 12,100 K. 8. Procyon. Procyon, also called Alpha Canis Minoris, brightest star in the northern constellation Canis Minor, lesser dog, and one of the brightest in the entire sky, with an apparent visual magnitude of 0.41. Procyon lies 11.4 light years from Earth and is a visual binary, a bright yellow-white subgiant with a faint, white dwarf companion of about the 10th magnitude. The Procyon system is composed of Procyon A, a white hydrogen fusing dwarf of the spectral type F54V, and Procyon B, a much fainter white dwarf companion with a stellar classification DQZ. The two stars have an orbital period of 40.82. Their orbit is inclined at 31.1 degrees to our line of sight. It takes the two stars within 8.9 astronomical units of each other and as far apart as 21 astronomical units. Their average separation is 15 astronomical units, almost the distance from the Sun to Uranus. 9. Akernar. Akernar is a bright, binary star system in the constellation Eridanus, and is the ninth brightest star in Earth's night sky. It is a binary star with a B-type star, Akernar A, as its primary and a much fainter A-type star, Akernar B, orbiting the primary at a distance of 6.7 astronomical units, 1 billion kilometer, or 621 million miles, with a period of about 15 years. Akernar A rotates at a speed of more than 250 kilometers, 150 miles, per second and thus is flattened with its equatorial diameter 40% larger than its polar diameter. This rapid rotation was first spotted in 2003 observations with a very large telescope. The force of the spin flattens the star considerably, with its equator bulging about 50% larger than its poles. Data from the Hipparchos mission placed Akernar at about 144 light years away. It is a BEV star, meaning that it belongs to the main sequence of stars. Still, Akernar is much hotter and brighter than our Sun. In fact, it's nearly 1,100 times as bright, visually, as our Sun. Brighter, hotter, and bluer, than the Sun, Akernar produces more energy in the non-visible ultraviolet, UV, wavelengths. Akernar's mass is 6 to 8 times that of our Sun, and its average diameter is nearly 8 to 10 times that of the Sun. But, while our Sun spins on its axis once about every 25 days, Akernar completes one rotation in slightly more than two days, or nearly 15 times faster than our Sun. 10. Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is usually the tenth brightest star in the night sky and, after Rigel, the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. 
It is a distinctly reddish semi-regular variable star whose apparent magnitude, varying between plus 0.0 and plus 1.6, has the widest range displayed by any first magnitude star. At near-infrared wavelengths, Betelgeuse is the brightest star in the night sky. In late 2019 it began dimming to an apparent magnitude of 1.6 by early 2020, it returned to its original brightness later that year. This great dimming was caused by a giant ejection of gas that condensed into dust when it cooled. The star is approximately 724 light years from Earth. Betelgeuse is roughly 950 times as large as the Sun, it is one of the largest stars known. For comparison, the diameter of Mars's orbit around the Sun is 328 times the Sun's diameter. Infrared studies from spacecraft have revealed that Betelgeuse is surrounded by immense shells of material evidently shed by the star during episodes of mass loss over the past 100,000 years. Thanks for watching.